If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden 22 Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be doing my first market talk of Mutt 22, guys. This is important because I've been getting a lot of market questions. I've been hearing, do I sell my Day 1 Elites? Do I open the Platinum Packs? Do I sell the Platinum Players? Do I quick sell the Platinum Players? Should I be investing? Do I buy? Do I sell? Will this guy be cheaper on day one? Will he be cheaper today? You think I should buy him now? You think Tyreek's going to lose me money? Should I sell my power up today? A million questions. So I'm going to cover this with a market talk, which pretty much is going to cover all my thoughts on the market that I've collaborated with Zerk. Me and him have been doing them. We've been talking about the market all week, trying to figure out the best time to do certain stuff. I've sold certain players I think are worth selling. I've kept certain that I think are worth keeping. Now, one advice I want to give you guys. Remember replacement value of a player. If the player goes for 90k, right, and you really want that 90k coins, but around his position right now, but you plan to compete day one in head-to-head -head and weekend league, so you're gonna have to go buy him back. It's not always worth selling that player. And I'll get into that a little bit more, but just letting you guys know now, if you're only gonna make an extra 10, 15k plus uh, uh, k, selling a player, but you plan to how you want a god squad the first day or weeks to go play online or head-to-head, -head, it might not be worth selling a player right now. But I'll get into that. So first, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. Comment down below Poodle Squad if you want to be shouted out on the Poodle Squad shout out. And of course, like the video. Now, today's Poodle Squad shout out goes to Joe S. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you for showing support each and every day. Now, let's get into this. So, let's take this over to my binder, right? So, I've sold players that I think would be worth selling. So, for instance, guys, I had Travis Kelsey, 88 overall. And I'll go into why some of them are worth selling and not, but I'm going to go into that in a second when I go to the auction block. Keep that in mind, though. Travis Kelsey. I sold Travis Kelsey for 200,000 coins. Just that was like 190, 189. It was about 200,000 coins. After reduction, take it down to whatever it was, 170-ish. So these are the players in my binder. Let me go through a guy that I'm referencing. Ty Rand Matthew. I want to sell him for 90K. It's a lot. But currently, I won't have my Cam Chancellor good enough by day one of the game, like official release for weekend league and stuff, and like over head to head. So right now, Tyron Matthew is one of the better safeties, and he goes for 90K. Now, I could do a team builder. But elite-wise, he's one of the better safeties, so I'm, I'm iffy about selling him. Now, Russell Wilson's a guy where I actually do really want to sell him, but he's only 39K. I feel like that's a little cheap, but that's kind of what 85s are going for. So the thing is, this year, guys, is going to be a little bit different because those Platinum Player Packs did drop the market earlier on, on lower overall cards because Elite Packs pretty much guarantee you. They gave it to you Elites, right? But they guarantee you like 80s, 85s. You really don't get much higher than that. I got lucky with the Kelsey, but people get lucky, but you're going to get a, there's a ton of these. So the lower end of the elite market has been completely killed. Like 86s and above are still like a really good value. Uh, like they're a good value to sell, not exactly to buy. So let's go to the auction block and take a look at the bracket so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Now, if you guys don't understand this either, if you guys look at the platinum player packs real quick and you come over, well, the elite player packs, right? 80 plus is 100%. 84 plus only an 18%, 86 plus 6%. So pretty much you're going to be getting a ton of 80s to 83s with a decent amount of 84s to 85s. Anything above that's really rare. So the 80s to 85 market's a lot lower than usual, but I think that will actually balance a bit more. So for me personally, I'm going to show you guys what the market looks like. I think 80s to 85s are kind of a hold for me right now. I actually think when the game does drop and maybe those packs go away, and, uh, you know, millions of people come in at the official release after the trial and start buying players and building their squads. I think the lower end of the elite market will actually rise and the top end may come down a little bit for certain players. So let's start at the top tier. Let's talk about them. Patrick Mahomes is super cheap. Now, you may be asking, why is that? Is that a good buy? Um, the problem is on the 17th, when everyone gets their pre-order packs, Patrick Mahomes is going to have a free 88 for most users that play MUT that pre-order the game, right? So... Patrick Mahomes will not be the like the best value in terms of basically right now. Devon Adams, why is he cheap? Because he's slow. And at the end of the day, a slow wide receiver is never going to get a good price. Now, I thought he'd be higher. But again, these elite player packs did it oversaturated. Now, the thing with oversaturation, though, with Jalen Ramsey and Aaron Donald, they're the top players, so people buy them out. There's not enough people who want the Devontae Adams like that. Travis Kelsey, he was actually 90, like 90K, 100K yesterday. If you go look at his uh, price values right here, the thing with Travis Kelsey, in my opinion... Is that he had he at one point when I sold him was about 200k like I said. The thing with him, he isn't like an 81 speed. He was never gonna be a top tight end. I sold him real fast for that specific reason. So that's like a good idea to do right now, guys. If you have players that you know are like trash, they're high overalls, but they're, they're, they're trash. Sell them more than likely because they're not they're not gonna go up much more. 
It was a Kyle Pitts in game. Travis Kelsey's just not going to go up. Let's do some crazy set. Travis Kelsey's not like 118 is still kind of a lot that you can make off him, honestly. Um, Derrick Henry's 195. I think that's a little bit high personally because, um, you know, we're going we're gonna to get a Saquon Barkley. We're going to be getting some pretty good cards, but he is a power back in a game where power is pretty good. My overall recommendation, though, on these guys, I don't I don't see these guys coming down much. I could see them maybe even going up a little bit. I think they'll stay around their value. Like Jalen Ramsey and Donald, if you have them, guys, those are safe values. The, you know, I know you guys get that. You guys get like um, like FOMO, fear like fear missing out. Like you, you're scared that if you hold them to Rams, you're going to lose value. And same thing with Donald. These are the these are two of the guys that are always one of the safest values. Like when Weekend League starts, Aaron Donald probably will either go up or at least keep his value. I don't see him going down much, although we're going to have some pretty good cards day one That besides Aaron Donald. I don't see them going down much. I see these guys holding pretty elite value or quite a bit. So these are the two guys that you can buy or sell them. Don't worry about that. You can, you can buy them or you can sell them. Either way, don't worry that you're going to be losing out or there's going to be a big drop. The guys below them, like Henry, Devontae Adams, Kelsey Mahomes, those are the guys that you could probably just go safely sell. Henry's still an if for me, but he's up there. Right now, though, guys, my overall consensus on the market is this is a um, it's more of a seller market for certain overalls, and I don't exactly think you should be buying anything right now. I would prefer to wait till the market stabilize. I'm not a fan of buying cards during the trial because here's the thing. You'll buy, you know, you'll buy Johnny Hecker for 50k because he's, he's, he's what you want to get, you want to fill out your team. You'll buy Buckner for 60, then you'll buy Trent for 62, and then you'll buy Kenny Clark for 29, right? And then you go, you go back in a week when the trial drops. Suddenly, DeForest Buckner is only like 45k. Suddenly, uh, Johnny Hecker's only like 35k because he's a punter. Suddenly, Kenny Clark actually went up like 30k because he's actually really, really good, and you know, but he's just he was just oversaturated from elite packs. And, uh, every, by the way, everyone's gonna log on day one, go on some pack openings or buy some coins and go ahead and just start buying out a bunch of elites. So things could, I think the lower end's actually gonna rise up a little bit because in years past, Aaron Rodgers would have been like 70K. You know, in years past, JJ Watt would have been like 70K. These guys would have been a little bit higher than they are. So expect, I think the lower ends come down a little bit, come up a little bit. So I'm holding all my lower elites. I actually think a few of them will come up just a little bit because there'll be sets that maybe need them. There'll be exchange stuff. Um, there'll be people actually building teams. So for me personally, I'm probably holding on to my lower ones. But in terms of the higher ones, those are the ones I sold. I made my coins, as you see, with the 376K. I still have Tyron Matthew. I still have a few guys, but I'm selling most of them. Now, again, if you want to compete day one, you could be a little bit wary of certain guys. Like Kelsey, you want to make those coins. You could turn. I turned the 200K on Kelsey. I could turn that into a Kelsey and Devontae Adams right now. So it was worth it. But if you, if you have a guy like Donald and um, Ramsey, I'd probably hold them for this time being just to play with them and or see if they go up a little bit. Now, if we go up to this, this is the range that I'm going to talk about a lot is the 84 to 85s. It's very clear that the 84 overalls are being a little bit undervalued right now. And this is where I was talking about. Like, if you have an 84, like, who's a good one that would, like, really just go up here? Maybe, like, a Bosa. Maybe a Chandler Jones. Maybe Ronnie Stanley. Minka. These are some guys that I, I could see going up a few K when the game does drop. Not a lot, but enough to really just be valued. Now, the problem with 84 is, too, with the team builders kind of oversaturated the market as well. And these are some really good players. Like, Quiddy Pay, super fast. We have a Justin Fields in here. We have CeeDee Lamb. There's some pretty good guys in here. But overall consensus that i like i want to get out there like i said buy hold or sell if it's 85 or below i'd say you could pretty much just hold them you could i mean you're not going to lose much you could you sell you could you could safely sell and go ahead and be like okay i'll lose a few k but i probably hold because again first off that's going to build up your team you're going to need players day one if you want to play online and again they could go up a little bit they're good cards and they're cheap enough to hold if they're top end players with trash stats i'm selling like if it's like Travis Kelsey's those top players that just aren't good. They're too slow. I'm pretty much selling Devonte Adams. I don't. I don't think they'll be that useful price wise. Although Devonte's getting really cheap. Now, if they're the top tier players in the game, I'm holding. Because typically, if history repeats itself, when weekend league does drop, the top end players actually get a boost in price because people want to go buy teams for weekend league. So for me, don't buy. I'm not buying anything during the trial. I'm not touching the auction block right now. I'm gonna wait till the market stabilizes because I I hate I hate market movement. I hate when I buy a team and the market starts moving a lot. I like to buy my teams during like stable periods of time, and that's kind of what we're dealing with right now. It's a very stable. It's gonna be very stable come the first week of the game once everything's out. And I want to see everyone in the game because once we have to see everyone, how many users come into the game day one and how that affects the market. Everything go up, everything go down, but it won't stay the same, and that's for sure. So. You don't want to be on the wrong end of that, so I like to just kind of wait. I like to I like to grind. In my opinion, guys, this week, what you want to do is sell the players you don't, you know, you're not going to use. Sell the players you know it's good value. You can make investments though. If you're going to buy, make sure it's for investment purposes. If you see an Aaron Donald for 180, know that he'll go up to two something. If you see uh, Jalen Ramsey snipe for like 150, know that's a good price. If you see a Josh Lambeau kicker for like 5k, and you know he goes for 20, good price. 
If you know it's just some power if you want to invest in, that's fine. I wouldn't buy to play because this week you're not really playing online. You're playing offline. Save your coins, build up the stack, and be ready to hit on the stabilizing market. But that's about it for the first market talk of Madden 22. Hopefully it does help you guys out. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you guys want to be shouted out on the Poodle Squad, like the video and comment down below Poodle Squad. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.